a small update on the cloth hanger design. I found it was necessary to make it from two parts. And the reason is that the clothes were actually damaged. Especially, of course, the most beautiful clothes. They cannot uh, have any any uh, sharp little rough area I found indeed breaks the threads on the micro level in the clothes and you will get the rough some rough spots and I hope they won't continue you can't see it this is a uh, this is uh, nothing wrong with this with this part but uh, other clothes I found uh, to be damaged because of the rough surface and I did I did even file it with a with a with a small small file um, because of this part this is the uh, the pants part of the design and I, I really didn't think this could happen actually but um, but it did so there you see that every every design has its own cycle of learning and things you don't you don't yeah you, you you learn every time I find it you get a little bit better in predicting the flaws of designs and, and try to to avoid that um, but this brings us um, this brings us to another law in 3d design always when possible trying to make it of multiple parts and the reason for that is that you need to practice you need to practice how to do it right because it's it's quite difficult um, to get it snug fit the parts and um, I will show you what I did here so the pants part is a separate part it's just a square a square protrusion and I made a square hole in there I find it was really be it worked really well I just have to make this uh, dimension a little bit larger to make it I think it, it can be the the intention was to glue it to glue it with super glue but now I find it's actually quite fun that you could also use it without the pants part uh, in case you have a lot of uh, uh, shirts that you um, want to put on, on on the same hanger just as um, a storage then you don't need a shirt for every a hanger for every shirt so <clears throat> yeah I made this part it works really well I will um, I will increase this dimension a little bit so make it more uh, of a snug fit uh, that, that it doesn't it, it, it holds really well it doesn't really come off but this so now with this one part it's printed like this so of course uh, this this side is smooth now this side is smooth and this side is smooth and the edges are smooth and it cannot damage any pants so when I had the one design I had to had support underneath the pants part and I did file it with a file to smoothen it um, and that was a little bit better but before I did that <laughs> indeed I damaged some very expensive clothes uh, so <laughs> Don't don't do that at home um, uh, unless you have the soluble support. I find it to be yeah, it, it works fantastic, but it's it's uh, clogs up the cores really fast. I think so. Um, this design is very well, and I must say, I didn't expect the shoulder pads to work so well, but I'm very very happy with it, and I found that I almost don't even need to glue it so uh, where is it oh. <clears throat> so on this side I have the sh this the shoulder pad see very snug fit all my designs are in on shape so you can uh, you can try and find it and uh, and um, and um, just want to stress the law Try and practice making things out of multiple parts because you, you will find over time that many designs just don't fit on your build plate. So any any chance you get, practice with 
with making parts from multiple pieces and you just need to uh, to learn what works and what doesn't work um, and, and I, I have another small example I want to show you because sometimes even when things do fit on your build plate you will have to make it in 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 multiple pieces because I made a design for a ventilator in our shower I will show you oh. so this is the ventilator that you keep hearing <clears throat> when I mounted this new ventilator I found that the wire parts uh, wires are always more bulky than you think even when you think you have enough space and I didn't dare to push the new ventilator with all the wires fully flush so I decided to design a 3D print edge around it you see here yeah it's very I think it's, it's, it's very nice now and you might think okay you can just print it at one 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 if you print it at one one piece then you will need to this detach the ventilator wires place the edge and then remount the wires and 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 push the ventilator in uh, of course you don't want to disconnect any wires <laughs> you know, i was happy that it worked um, f uh, so so I, I i didn't want to touch it so you need to make a u-shape that you can slide over the ventilator and make a bottom part you can slide in and you can, you can leave the wires alone it works huh? and you can even keep it running while you mount it slide in the U part and the bottom part mount the screws I was very happy with this uh, with this design so that is your rule for today practice with making things from multiple pieces this was print the world feel free to copy if you can so I said all my designs are on shape. It is a fantastic program. I'm not being sponsored and I don't want to be sponsored. And uh, also, yeah, I insist that I uh, do my videos in one take. Now, okay, feel free to copy and improve. This was Print the World. Thank you.